I'm back. I know it's been a long time, um, so thanks for bearing with me. And um, yeah, I've returned because essentially this year, so I've turned 35. No, I've not turned 35, I've turned 34. See, I've been forgetting my age. I'm not even that old. I've turned 34 and I decided that I want to put out there that I'm going to become a millionaire before I'm 35. That's my goal. And I want you to follow along for the journey. So essentially, what I've started doing is one, visualizing that being a millionaire, it's the word millions, it, it seems like a lot, but initially what you need to do is change your perspective and think that it's not a lot. There's a flat down the road that's going for 17 million pounds. <clears throat> 17 million is nothing now compared to 1 million. So if I'm like, people are out here buying 17 million pound houses or flats, literally flats, um, it is a penthouse, but it's a flat. 17,000, um, 17 million, 17, million, yeah, 17 million, sorry. Yeah, 17 million, I think it is. Yeah, I keep on saying 1,000, don't I? 17,000, uh, that would be a cheap flat. 17 million, then 1 million is nothing. So it's all about perspective, seeing it as a small number that I'm able to do it and kind of brainwashing myself to some degree, um, believing really that I can. And then it's kind of matching up your belief with then the actions. So one of my actions that I've done so far is audit essentially my income. So I run a digital agency, <clears throat> been doing that for the last seven years. And I do uh, digital services, um, and I also do projects alongside that stuff um, and products. So I've audited what's coming in to see what I can start wiggling um, on and kind of turning up the levers. And then secondary to that, I've gone through all of my projects and products that I've come up with uh, to figure out which ones are kind of got traction, which ones are making income, and seeing which ones I can pull levers on to make more income from. So essentially. 70% of my stuff that I've built over the years, and this is like back to 2001 when I started like freelancing, um, like 70% of my stuff gets traction, which is cool, but not everything makes money. I'm kind of like right now I'm at 33%. So like a third of my stuff makes money. Um, and then obviously that's varying degrees. So I'm investing in the things that are making me money and doing these kind of like small bets of maybe new ideas along the way. So over this year, you'll probably see stuff that I'm committed to that I'll lean in further in on. Uh, so one of which is Insider, which is essentially only fans for musicians. So if you go to Insider Music without the ER, it's a DR, um, then you will see that that is something that we've built in the last year or so. And that's re a really cool product that is essentially helping uh, fans um, get direct access to music artists and get music artists that sustainable income because they're now um, providing subscriptions so they can put all their unreleased music and demos and so forth and show behind the scenes um, and they get direct access to the fans they also get to speak with their fans through the app and also that they have the information of the fans so it's not as if like spotify you don't know who your fans are they're just numbers and locations whereas we don't want to have that like data lock in so we allow you to see your fans so you can put them into your newsletter and so forth so i am Investing in those products and putting more into those to increase the income on those. And yeah, so this is going to be a really interesting journey. I have also have started live streaming. So if you're on YouTube, um, you'll see that I live stream. So please subscribe and add up the notification bell so you get to see when I'm live streaming. I'm also over on Twitch as well. Uh, my username is Dan Diego underscore. And um, I game a little bit, so you'll see some gaming streams on there as well. But yeah, I thought I'd just come in and give you... Um, a brief like I'm back statement, which I know I always do. So um, thanks for bearing with me on that one. It's just I never have the quite consistency of it on this channel. And if you are not familiar with Don't Be a Doorstop, Don't Be a Doorstop is a podcast that I've been running with Tom, my brother. Don't Be a Doorstop is essentially we've got a hit now like 50 episodes. Um, we've done like three seasons worth. Essentially, the reason why it's called Don't Be a Doorstop is that a hammer is a great doorstop. However, it's not the right tool for the job. Um, a doorstop is the right tool for the job. So a hammer can be very, very good as a doorstop, but it's not the right place for it. A hammer should be hammering nails. Therefore, go and hammer nails. So essentially, you might be in life, you might be really good at the job that you do, but somebody else can do that job. And really the job that you should be doing is potentially starting your own business or providing a service or being a coach or being a photographer or something and making money out of that, making a sustainable living out of that. And a lot of the time, the reason why we don't do it is a plethora of reasons from imposter syndrome to fears to um, like n not knowing the information, like where to start, right? Like analysis paralysis, that's a tongue twister, um, too much out there, like competition. Um, you think that there's already that idea out there. So what's the point of you starting an idea? There's a whole host, a host of things out there. 
um, or it won't happen to me. It works for everybody else, but it won't work for me. So um, yeah, there's a whole host of reasons why you won't do it. But don't be a doorstep. It's about mindset, entrepreneurship, um, and kind of like encouraging you to take the leap if that's what you want to do. Because um, a lot of the time, all we need is that 5% of encouragement to push us further. So yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell because I am going to be more consistent over here. And this was kind of a, an accountability um, kind of thing as well. So Tom and I are going to start our own YouTube channels. Tom's going to do his thing. I'm going to do my thing. And hopefully we will be consistently doing individual channels as well as Don't Be a Doorstop. So that's it for now. I'm going to end the video here. And also I'm going to be ending the live stream. So I've live streamed for the last hour and a bit, I think. Uh, alongside because that's one way of creating content alongside of it so live stream while you're live streaming start making videos so you can kind of like parallel the two so that's it for now thanks so much for watching see you next time <laughs>